Well, as wrong as that may have sounded, the next match is about to be Kane Connor. I love having you at this table with me. I love being here, Jamar. What's the following thing? It's a no disqualifications match, and it is for the CWE World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first from Denver, Colorado, standing at seven foot five inches tall. Weighing at 507 pounds, Giganta. And here comes the big Colorado mountain man, Giganta. As the announcer said, 7 foot 5, 500 plus pounds. Giganta is easily the biggest person I think I've ever seen in my life. And tonight, not only is he getting an opportunity to fight a smaller Jill and Poti, there's no rules. Everything goes, which means Giganta can do whatever he wants to do to win this world championship. I mean, this is definitely his match to win. Everything's in his favor. If I was Dylan Poteet, I would not want to be in that ring. But race. keep in mind, Dylan Poteet is the ultimate underdog, as we've said multiple times. It seems like every time Poteet's in a match when he's about to lose, he pulls it out of nowhere and is able to come back. And speaking of which, here he comes. And introducing his opponent from Louisville, Kentucky. And here comes Dylan Pote, ladies and gentlemen, a four-time CWE champion, a four-time world champion, and Pote's got quite a career under his belt right now. Now, Connor, I understand you have a particular liking for the footwear that Pote uh, chooses to wear to the ring. Why is that? Uh, it's a bit flashier than I expected. I mean, bright blue, that's that's different. Well, Pote's definitely a different competitor, that's for sure. And I, I think it's funny coming from a man who's wearing pretty much solid blue right next to me, ladies and gentlemen. Not to make light of the situation, though. This is a no disqualification world title match, and Dylan Poteet has quite the wall to climb, no pun intended. And here we go. Poteet throwing a strike. That didn't even phase Giganta. Another one. That didn't phase him. A third one. What is he going to do? Oh, and there's the strike by Giganta. And you, both of these superstars are standing next to each other. You can see the significant size difference and You're the right, strike. Look at that. That is. From a normal person, a suplex hurts, but that had to be 12 feet in the air. You take the 5 feet plus that Pochi did, add it to the 7 feet of Giganta. That's a fall right there, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I got a quick cover. One. And a kick out at one by Pochi. Um, I honestly don't know why they're even having this match. I Look out, drop kick. I think this is very one so Over the rope goes Giganta. And there I eat my words. Among other things, Connor. And now, Giganta. Climbing back towards the ring. Pote went to hurdle him out, but he missed completely. As Giganta now is going to try to take advantage of a wounded Dylan Pote. It's like a dingo in the woods after a hunting expedition. That was a great metaphor. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I, I, I'm very much fond of my metaphorical speaking ways. <laughs> Another great metaphor. <laughs> Thank you, Connor. <laughs> you don't know what a metaphor is. Nice belly slam there. By Giganta, ladies and gentlemen. The big man continuing to overpower Dylan Pochi. What a hurdle there. <laughs> he had to get up seven, <laughs> almost eight feet in the air to do that one. That's like jumping a moving car. You're right. It is like jumping a moving car. It's exactly what it's like. I love having you at this table with me, Connor. Ladies and gentlemen, on a serious note, this is a world title, no disqualifications match. Giganta, the bigger man, obviously by, by the name. Tearing away at the smaller Dylan Pochit, who has not been able to get a shred of momentum in this match so far. And Gigantz is reminding him why he wants that world title. There's a knee to the face. Dylan Pochit in a big kick, dropping the big man. It takes a lot to do that. That shows you the power that Pochit's got. Well, there's in a line. reversal. Gigantz is taking momentum back, though. And look at the strategy here. Going for the knee. Dylan Poteet's best weapon is his kicks. And Giganta continuously attacking that leg. Trying to take those kicks away from Dylan Poteet. That is good strategy if I've ever seen it. I mean, that, is, that just shows what kind of wrestler he and is. And over the ropes he goes again. Poteet continuing to use leverage and momentum. And look at the springboard. But Giganta got out of the way. Nice job. But even though Giganta is... Look he, out! Oh my! Knees first, again to those legs. He's, uh, even though he's clearly... I can't... <laughs> <laughs> you can't, Connor. And into the crowd goes Poti. 
I know what you're trying to say. And now Giganta, he's got somebody's Dr. Pepper. Giganta's got somebody's Dr. Pepper, and he's spinning it out. That is not normally what Giganta does to people, but ladies and gentlemen, if it's effective, I'm not going to question it. There's a takedown, and Giganta's head went off the back of those steps. And now, uh, now Poteet has to use some of this momentum and keep it while he has it. Oh, but he doesn't. And Giganta with a huge headbutt. That hurt to watch. That would be like getting hit in the head with a rolling bowling ball there, Connor. And now Poteet being thrown back into the ring. I don't know what's so funny. I don't know why you think that's so funny. No, no. Uh, I was clear my throat. Oh, got it. Oh, look out, Giganta going under the ring. This is where things are going to start to get haywire. Pote from the top! A suicide dive from Dylan Pote taking out Giganta, taking out the trash can. Everything is destroyed. <laughs> That's not funny. That's what happened. And as he's thrown into the barricade, now a huge headbutt again. Pote, again, cannot develop any sort of momentum here from Giganta's attack. He's not able to get on top. There's an opportunity. I spoke too soon. And now Pote with a trash can. He's going to mow down the giant with a trash can. Anything can happen here in CWE, ladies and gentlemen. And why not? But Giganta right back on top. Right back in the big choking now. He's choking him off the apron. Connor, you've seen Giganta many times. I know you're familiar with the destruction that this guy can unleash at any time. Tell me about what it takes to overcome a Giganta onslaught. He's got a guitar! I don't mean to interrupt you, but Dylan Poets has got a guitar. Who brings a guitar to a wrestling show and a cover one and a kick out from Giganta? Who brings a guitar? I don't know, but uh, Poteet's probably thanking them right about oh, now. you're right about that. Poteet did use that guitar very well. And here's that momentum, Dylan's got... You're right, Poteet's springboard attack, but Giganta reversed it. He came down, did you see his knee collide with the neck of that guitar? Look at the strength! And that guitar's behind him if he drops him backwards. Oh, God, down on the frame. I guess he's not thanking him anymore. No, probably not. Probably not. And now Giganta taking him. But anyway, to get back to the question I asked you, what's it like to overcome a Giganta onslaught? Um, you got to basically do anything you can. I mean, you can't let him get any momentum. Definitely not the oh, stairs. the stairs! Definitely not the stairs. You don't want him to have that. The stairs colliding with Poteet's knee as he tried to run over to stop Giganta. And now Poteet's gonna wrestle here, striking away at Giganta in the corner, and a big kick to the head! Somehow, Poteet still has some strength in those legs. Oh, but there's a shot. But a nice hip toss. That's momentum for you. That can do that, and another kick to the head! from Dylan Pote. Look out here. Going for some, oh, the knees! Just when you think he has the momentum. He Good doesn't. Up. What knees from Giganta, and there's a shot right off that brick wall on the outside. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why I love no disqualification. Everything is legal, and off those stairs again. That was his legs again, I mean. You're right. Giganta is targeting Pote's only one chance probably winning this match. You're right. Poteet's career is based off of the success of his kicks. And look at him tearing apart the table now. He's tearing apart our table. Get out of here. He's tearing apart our table. I mean, you can go ahead and scream at that man if you want, but uh, you're right, I'd I rather should, not. I should probably not do that if I enjoy life, which right now it's pretty good. I'm glad Giganta, to hear. Look out, throwing Poteet into our table. You need, to, you need to be careful, Connor. Giganta might hurt you here. They're standing right in front of us. Look out. Poteet, oh, the reversal! Whoa! Oh my god, Dylan Poteet put your guard to throw the table! I, I did not see that coming, I mean... That's why it's called unexpected. And now Poteet going for the ring bell, but Giganta, what a shoulder! A shoulder block from Giganta. And Poteet looks like he's pretty much out cold he's right here. He's on spaghetti legs, ladies and gentlemen, wobbling all over the place. He's having a hard time staying up. Oh, right off the ring post! Look at all the crap in the ring right now. CWE's no disqualification matches mean painful things are going to happen. And right now, Poteet's knowing that firsthand. Giganta climbing the apron. Oh, Poteet striking him, though. But Giganta the reversal. A shot to the head. I mean, this has to be Giganta's element. Using oh, what a slam! Using all of his power and being able to do anything he wants with it. That is exactly Giganta's game, ladies and gentlemen. And another yeah. huge slam! Almost connected with those stairs. Could you imagine? Now he's going for the stairs. Look out! 
hurling them down onto Pochit's body. Those are steel. Those are steel steps, ladies and gentlemen. That's gotta hurt. And look at the suplex. I don't know how. I don't know how Pochit's still still wrestling after this. I'm not even sure. Giganta, obviously, as we've been saying, the bigger man, the stronger man. He's been using that strength all night. And Pochit's legs have been targeted. Look at the springboard. He jumped into the chair. Connor, he jumped into the chair and knocked it into Giganta's face. That was brilliant strategy by Poti. Well, no, series. But Giganta reversing those series of drop kicks you were about to mention. And into the brick wall. Look out. Look out. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, the crowd is definitely getting experience with this one. They are in the audience. It's the brick wall. A brick wall. Poti was just put through. That is nasty. That is the kind of thing Giganta will do to an opponent to win a match. It doesn't even have to be this scale. It doesn't have to be world title, pay-per-view opportunity at Road to Glory. It could be anything. And Giganta's going to take that opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. And Giganta's just having his way with him now. I mean, You're right. Giganta is absolutely dominating. He hasn't let Poteen gain much momentum and back to the knee. He has not let him have a shred of offense in this match tonight. Giganta is letting Poti feel everything that he wants to deliver. Now he's throwing him into the corner here. Look out as Poti in the corner. He's got Again the, with stairs. the stairs. He's going to use those stairs for lethal efficiency. Poti's up though. Oh, Giganta kicks him right back in. And he's going to send him across the ring here. Giganta setting Poti, trying to position those stairs. I can't imagine what for, but it doesn't look like it's going to feel too good when he does it. Look at this. Slamming Poti down by the ankles. That is strength, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen Giganta dominate with his strength all night. And another huge tilt roll slam there. A modified sidewalk. And there's the pin. The cover. One, two, and that's it. No! I, I thought it was he, over. I don't know how he kicked out of that Poteet's one. Poteet's got to have some kind of resilience to keep kicking out, to keep battling back. You see that kick did almost nothing to Giganta. What do you do? What do you do to win this? As the go behind, and he takes him down by the neck. I guess if you can reach the neck, that's a good way to go. Most competitors can't always do that, though. Look at Poteet now. He wants Giganta to get up. Is he stalking Giganta? That's ridiculous. <laughs> And he misses the drop kick and Giganta stomps on the back. Open a DDT out of nowhere. And Poti, we know what comes after that DDT. He's going to go for the sixth degree. He's going for the sixth degree. Giganta's up. Oh my God. He's got him on his throat. Choke slam from Giganta. And the cover. Uh, One, two, that's got to do it. It's over. G I mean, I can't say I'm, su I'm surprised by the way this turned out. I mean, I... I wow. But, I mean, Bill and Poteet put up one hell of a fight. Poteet deserves every bit of recognition that you can give him, but it wasn't enough. You can't win on recognition, and Giganta won on strength alone. The big man able to put out Dylan Poteet and get himself the world title for the third time in his career. Of course, the bigger question is now, who's going to be able to dethrone him? Well, as we approach... The end of the night, ladies and gentlemen, Giganta is celebrating in the ring right now. But coming up next, it's the match we are all here for, ladies and gentlemen. Six competitors, one briefcase, an opportunity, and any single title that the winner wants. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have six of the top rising CWE superstars, including legendary Corey Fox, going for that briefcase and an opportunity to make history. Um, this is the one. This is the one match that defines people's careers. I mean, that's pretty much it. The Road to Glory ladder match is exactly what it sounds like—a road to glory, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to pick your poison. It's time to make your own fate because the ladder match, ladies and gentlemen, we all came to see is about to get underway here in Miami, Florida.